Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching Kaguya Sama Love is War episode 10. How would you describe the last episode, Carly? I mean... Wild, Angelo. Yeah, that Wild. Was, that was unexpected. That was spicier than I thought. Um, look, things progressed a lot more than I, I anticipated. Did they? I mean... Mm. Yeah, like after the whole drugged out scenario. <laughs> yeah, Shiragano got blasted out of the house. Yeah, and they were back to square one, I think. Yeah, well, we're hoping that this episode, we're actually going to see the repercussions of what happened. Uh, at least get maybe a conversation about it. I'll be a little bit upset because, look, I'm not putting it past them to just pretend like it never happened yeah. and move on. I would fully expect them to be like so deathly awkward around each other for like the next five episodes and then it's just forgotten about yeah but also if you guys are interested in getting early access to the next couple of episodes i'll leave a link to our patreon down below but anyway should we get into it let's get into it <laughs> the poor guy <laughs> Not he cut out this. this. <laughs> oh no. There's one piece of cake there. <laughs> good. Yeah, we know. We're continuing this. Okay, that's good. I guess. <laughs> 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 it didn't happen though, right? I hope not. She doesn't know unless she asks him though. Oh, yeah. Maybe he should have left when yes. he saw that she fell asleep. But maybe he fell asleep first. Now we have the cake thing. I just can't keep up. Oh dear. Oh shit. <laughs> it's gonna be none left. It's gonna break. I hope Chica comes and eats it. Yeah. Let's cut it in half. Oh my gosh, 20 minutes have passed. An hour. He's regretting eating that piece. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> There's so much ill will right now. I think they need a hug. Oh, she didn't take offense to it. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> the VAs are going hard. Yeah. You don't react like that whenever I remember something from ages ago. I remember everything. You forget everything. You don't. You didn't even know what colour my nails were. Because <laughs> it's not something I was interested in. <laughs> Bit of a grinch. You didn't tell me that you were painting your nails that colour, so how am I supposed to remember what I don't know? It's about noticing, Angelo. Both having meltdowns. Oh no. Like I feed each other, it's adorable. They're being aggressively adorable. 
Okay, it's their wedding. <laughs> the soundtrack in this show is so good. That was the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mumbling. Didn't you read the subtitles? Oh no, she's too busy laughing. Oh, okay, we're starting from there. <laughs> I, no, she missed. She missed something she very important. Yeah, no, it's hard. I'm not getting involved. I'm not getting involved. No, that's exactly how it is. Yeah, I'm that's just right. not getting involved. But she said slept with... I'm not getting involved. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no, he's getting... And he's thought about this a lot. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Ishigami's going in! <laughs> he's just gone mental. Yeah, I, I agree with both. I'm not getting involved. She wanted a little kiss or something like that. A little cuddle, a little, you know? A little huggy. A little hug or something. <laughs> How did the VA do that? The tension between these two have really built up. What? It would have been like that or something. <gasps> oh. oh! Wow! Shit! She's very happy. He needs to sort himself out. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Love is in the air. Oh no. The rumors are going to go around now. That was the most we've got from this show so far. Summer vacation. Oh shit. So they're all going to have summer vacation together? Go to the movies. Yeah, here we go. Oh no. Oh no, not this again. No, no, no. Dang! Oh. Okay, so she's not going to be there. <laughs> He's got to stop with this. How cute. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Did you see his animation just now? No, go to take it back. Oh, shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> She's not gonna cancel plans. Oh. Hey! She taught you softball. He's head. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, that's right. Don't forget about the bros. Now you speak up. Oh yeah, she, she was talking about the fireworks yeah. all last episode. Dang. She doesn't want to miss out. <laughs> Get the tomato festival. Oh. <gasps> no. You don't mean that. She has the worst FOMO I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, really bad FOMO. No, 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 she didn't mean it. <laughs> okay, they're still gonna go? <laughs> Poor Chica! Why does that matter? If it's padded or not. What, what's going on? What was know. that about? What was that slide for? Oh. Fan service. Was he just thinking about Kaguya in summertime, but maybe padded? That's what it said. It said padded. I didn't say that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, someone explain what the heck was going on with that random slide. Anyway, Chick is quite relatable because I have really bad FOMO too, mostly when it comes to food. Yes, you have the worst FOMO I've ever seen when it comes to food. Like, guys, I'll eat a rice cake and Angelo will be like, I want a rice cake. Like, And rice cakes aren't even that great. But he's just eaten like three plates of lasagna. Like, this is the kind of FOMO I'm talking about here. When was the last time, and tell them the honest truth, that I, one, ate three plates of lasagna and two, actually ate lasagna? Like three years ago. Okay, well. I'm just giving you an example. That would happen, No. Yeah, I get bad FOMO, but you could have just taken it easy and said, sometimes after a meal, I'll have an extra piece of chocolate than you or something, and then I want... Wait, do you? No, you, I'm saying. If you did that, oh. then I would want the extra piece. That's sort of FOMO. Mm. But you had to take it far like that with the three plates of lasagna. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to think back. The summer vacation stuff relates back to, I think, when I was at, like, camp... But this this would have been yeah. like, this would have been a, a long time ago. This was probably like primary school feelings there because I went to an all boys school in high school. So I only went to like camps and excursions or vacations or whatever words you guys used to describe these things um, or retreat or whatever with all boys, all guys. So it was a little bit different, but I could imagine... You know, the fuzzy feelings that you'd get. But it's true how... What, being on camp with members of the opposite sex? Is that what you're talking about? Kylie, it's a different environment. It's like a non-academic environment. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Oh, yeah, you went. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go on. T tell them the stories. There's then. no story. Okay. I think it was very accurate how they're the same sex. they kind of like... They split up into groups. It makes the tension even greater. Because then, you know, every now and then you... What? I'm serious. Yeah. It does. On camp? Or wherever you're going. Okay. Whatever retreat it is. Yes. Yes. Then on the odd occasion that you actually converse or communicate with members of the opposite sex, it's a big deal and you Dang. don't stop thinking about it for, you know, the whole night. And you like overanalyze everything the other person says. That's right. Like what did they mean when they said, hey? Yeah. We never went on a retreat together or anything like that at all. You and me? Yeah, never. 
We didn't go to the same school. No. Actually. Here we go. Oh, there was this one time where I think like all of the high schools in Melbourne, they all came to this like ground or whatever. And there was a bunch of um, tents up for different universities and stuff. Oh. And my school was there. Yeah. And your school was there. Yeah. And we like walked past each other. It was so cute. Was it? Because we didn't. No, it was adorable. I remember being like, oh my gosh, like his friends can see me. <laughs> and like my friends can see him. <laughs> I'm sorry to burst your bubble, Carly, but I didn't even mention you in that moment. Eh? I'm serious. Wait. No, it can't be. Are you being cool in front of the people who are watching? Cool? What do you mean? I'm not trying to be cool. You didn't get fuzzy and like butterflies? Carly, I don't... Can you remind me what's going on here? Angelo, we saw each other. I, see, I'm starting to think that you saw me, but I didn't see you. <laughs> Guess, I don't know what the heck you're talking about. I'm but that's so really nice sad. to hear that. That's nice that you felt that way. We were like fresh. I think we'd probably been dating for like a couple of months. We were dating? Yeah. I was 15, you were 16 or 17. Oh, then I definitely didn't say anything. The mission was already a success at that point. <laughs> I don't actually remember what you're talking about, though. Oh. Yeah, you remember. It, that was a very brief stint, though, wasn't it? No, but it was special because, like, I was at my school with my friends that you didn't know. And, like, you were at your school. Can anyone relate? <laughs> you're making me feel like a crazy person. No, no, no. Like I'm a not, clingy, I'm like... not trying to. That's adorable. That's really nice that you told me that. Um, no, I do remember. I was just, you... <laughs> yeah, I was just playing no, it up. I... Yeah. Don't worry. I was telling everyone. Okay. Three plate lasagna, man. Yeah. This is, Let's this, move on. This is my missus here. This is my missus Carly. Isn't she cute? What? I said all that sort of stuff. I was only around like two guys anyway, and they already knew about you. But that's nice that you thought that way about me. That you said that to your oh friends. Oh my gosh. You're actually like. A psychopath. <laughs> I'm not a psychopath. I'm, I'm getting revenge in for what? how you've treated me the last five episodes on camera. I have done no such thing. No, I shouldn't be toxic. I shouldn't be toxic. I do remember what you're talking about very vividly. Um, in terms of fuzzy feelings and stuff like that, I was probably more just sh like showing off. Was like, yeah, yeah, but it's nice to be that's like... That's my girlfriend. It's nice to be like shown off. Yeah, that's You my... know, in like a materialistic kind of way. <laughs> it's nice to be like... Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, excursions. Is that how we're going to end the season now? We're going to get the this little festival thing? The summer vacation? Wait, what? How many episodes are in the season? Oh, there's only two more left. In, oh! Uh, in the first season, yeah. 11 oh, and 12. Oh, I thought it was like Spy Family-sized episodes, seasons. Oh, no, no, no. So I believe that it's 12 episodes... Three seasons. Okay, okay. Well, then the festival is going to be the most wild thing we've probably ever seen. Well, Chica's not going to be there, so I don't know if it's going to be wild. Like, you know what's going to happen in my mind, what? right? Kaguya and Miyuki, right? They're going to go on the Ferris wheel. But Ishigami is going to be like, I'm just going to go get some fairy floss. Okay. He's a fairy floss kind of guy. Yeah. They're going to go on the roller coaster. Is that what I said before? You said Ferris wheel. No, okay. Angelo. Roller coaster. She's okay. going to be scared. He's going to hold her hand. He's going to like fall into her like, you know, here area. And he's just going to be like, I can't move at all. And she's going to be like, ah, get off, blah, blah, blah. And it's going to be a disaster. <laughs> okay. That's, yeah. No, that's not what I thought. No. I thought, this is how I'm going to see it, right? Major progression mm. during each season. So I think first season we're going to get, I may have actually said this in the first episode. I may have. Before or after? Because before doesn't count. You knew nothing about the show. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm thinking at the end of season one, we'll have them holding hands in a romantic way. Oh, so they'll be together? No, but it'll be like bloss oh. blossoming. Okay. Maybe she'll be scared on, on the roller coaster. Something like that. No, no, no. I think they'll hold hands under the fireworks. Oh. Yep. Season two finale, there'll be a kiss on the cheek because... Maybe one of them is going away for a bit. 
Yeah, or, or someone dies. Or for a long time. And there's a kiss on the cheek. No, no, someone dying would be like, would take away from the romantic aspect. It would be more of like a hug like that. Yeah. I yeah. think there'll be a, an in, an embrace and a kiss on the cheek at the end of season two. And then at the end of season three, they're going to make out. Romantically. And then what? And then if there's a time skip, maybe we'll see them get married and have babies. Okay. Yeah, they're my predictions. Are you sad about the story before? Yes, I'm sad about the story before. I told you I was playing it, was it like, up. I was trying to be a villain. It was like one of the best days of my life. <laughs> Carly, stop. No, no, no. This is what you're trying to do now. You're trying to swing it. You're trying to be all cute and innocent and stuff like that. Tell the, the people, our subscribers, our viewers, and now they're all going to be like, Edge, you're an <laughs> asshole. No, her. no, Carly's no. Carly's so cute and innocent. You're Listen being played. To me. She's an anime villain. You're being played. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. I had butterflies too.